Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to some December documented fun. So my friends, if you recall, I sort of said to you, I'm going to really try, um, you know, I had my work marathon uh, sort of six or seven days leading up to and including Christmas Eve. Then I did have three days off, but of course one of those were Christmas, so I was, you know, with my family. Um, Boxing Day, I had fully intended to, to get on here and do a little bit more. I was just so exhausted. I basically did my, uh, the Flare Hut, um, my design team page for them, and, and that was it. Uh, then another four full day marathon, uh, through New Year's Eve. So, uh, and I guess, you know, <laughs> I'm I, I'm not quite as young as I was, nor is my nephew when we started this 15 years ago. So this one was a little bit um, harder, not stressful at all. I have an amazing team. Everything went smoothly, went just tired, just a lot. There a lot. And I have to admit, I was saying to my friends uh, yesterday that maybe I'm just a little bit peopled out now. <laughs> <laughs> for for a little bit. I need some quiet time. So I'm I'm here today with the couple of pages that I started through that marathon. I, I really didn't get to do much, but I, I tried to do a little bit of something every evening. Some of it was just printing photos, um, but I sort of got two pages halfway or a little bit more uh, complete. So let's have a look at those and then uh, we'll see where we are in the album. So this, of course, you saw this was one of my Spiegel Mom Scraps uh, DT projects. And it was recording, of course, the lovely Christmas Jumper Day. Um, and I have this uh, that I just sort of put on one of the papers that came in the uh, Evergreen and Holly binder, the Vicky Booten binder for this year. So I turned that over and this goes back to a design that I sort of scrap lifted last year that you saw. And then Katie Scott, through her um, Advent series with, uh, with Jess, the Scrappy Sisters, uh, she scrap lifted it and that brought it all back to me. So I, I did something very, very similar again this year. So I had some photos and basically all I did is I, I took this, the reverse side of the paper, which is a clipboard. So that gave me the idea of maybe getting into uh, my Christmas reading and the books and magazines that I have. So I started with, you know, doing my pockets, cutting my paper um, at angles so that I could get some pockets in here and then as I was gluing this down I got my glue I got my glue all at the wrong place so I just decided before putting these three pieces down that I would just get some gold glittery washi and I went back and forth there's actually two layers of washi tape here because I put silver down first thinking that it would maybe match this dark green but I didn't in the end I didn't like it at all with the burger it just didn't didn't go I don't know what I was thinking it, it sort of matched the craft here a little bit but not uh the burgundy with the green so I went back and I just put some gold glitter washi tape down here and got these sort of little pockets down I then I had taken a photo of my Christmas books and my Christmas sort of reading that I put this is the top of uh, one of my two Alex drawers that I just, you know, decorated a little bit, the wide one. And these are all my Christmas. I must say that was pretty much a monumental fail as well. Last year, I seemed to do so, so much better. Now, I don't know if the way the holiday uh, fell, did I not do as many in a row was I just maybe a little bit more, or I think that's part of it. I think last year I may started sooner. Uh, I think Christmas and the whole December period sort of crept up on me this year when, when I wasn't quite prepared. I think last year, um, as I was going through, you know, mom's doing all the, the mom stuff and moving her, I was, you know, 
crafting maybe a lot more in the evenings or, or when I wasn't working to just take my mind off everything. I don't know, but this year I definitely did not get as much reading done, as much scrapping done throughout the marathon as I normally would. So, got to have that. And all I did here, this is all the Vicky Booten Evergreen and Holly. Of course, there may be a couple of sheets of Warm Wishes. I, I've, I've sort of mixed them up a little bit from what I had left last year. And I just turned this scrap into a tag top. And these are actually two tags from uh, the cut apart sheet. And I did put um, a background paper here on this one. So this is the first book I intended on reading. You, you know, I love my cozy mysteries, even at um, Christmas. So I took a photo. This was the one I wanted to start. Um, I actually haven't started yet. So I will be doing Christmas reading through the end of February. And that's fine because what I want to do is then maybe come in here on the back and let you know what I thought of the book. And then I have a few more to read. So I might want to try and do something like that or do a separate page on the side. But this was Christmas Cake Murder. And this is sort of like... It was written recently by this author. She's a prolific. This series has, I don't know how many books in it now, maybe 20 or 30. I've not read them all. But this was written fairly recently, but it was written as a prequel to the series. And then this lovely photo is of magazines. Now, these two gorgeous magazines were part of the lovely Christmas box that I got from my dear, dear friend, Helen. It uh, just some gorgeous stuff. I'll get some, um, some of that documented as well. I got some homemade chocolates and a beautiful kitty frame and, and oh my God, just, you know, all sorts of gorgeousness. Um, and then I had bought myself, the Canadian living, living and one for her that I put in her box. So I had this and I've been, you know, really going through these quite, quite, quite a bit. And I must say, uh, the British Christmas magazines are just awesome. They beat ours. I mean, this one is quite nice, but these two are just uh, amazing. So I have those. So my idea is I will get this one here. And then these two, I want to put this one and this one. So we'll get that there and I'll put, how did I have that now? I think I want that this way. There we go. Maybe over a little bit more or over here a bit more. Maybe, no, there you go. Maybe, no, I don't want it in the middle, do I? There we go. I think I like it like that. So that one kind of straight and these that way. So, I mean, they, they will be going in and out anyway, and I can get something popped in here as well if I want to, uh, sort of a smaller one for sure, but I could get that up there. So, we need to get maybe some twine in here, and let's see what I want. That sort of, the, the craft is sort of a little bit dull, isn't it? So, I don't think we'll do that. Then maybe the green. Does that sort of blend in a little too much? Maybe it does, because I was worried that the red and white here would be just a little bright. But, you know, I think, I think I like it. So let's, let's put that in and then we'll see what we think. Uh, let's just put it all in because we'll see what we think. I doesn't need much, but I want to get... A little bit of twine in here for sure. There we go. Chopin is sleeping beside me, my friend, so he might not be saying hello to. Oh my goodness me, I'm doing this all. Let me just get this in here properly. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay. Get that in there. Then we'll get some in this one as well. I definitely like the red in this one for sure. Because it does go with the rest. So, 
definitely just want the red in this one for sure. Oh my, I'm all thumbs today. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, my friends, but it's a good tired. You know when you call it a good tired, but I'm tired. Um, and then, of course, last Thursday, uh, I had my Christmas with Joey and his family because we've come to the conclusion that the, the Christmas Eve tradition, uh, we're just too exhausted. The weather was terrible. I didn't want his dad out on the roads driving me back. Um, so, you know, we, we just decided to have a quiet one on the 29th, which you'll, you'll see some entries about. There we go. So I think I do like that. All right, then I, I might put a little bit of glue there. Now, uh, I want to decorate this a little bit. I'm not sure what I'll do up here. I pulled out some of these, and I do have uh, some bits here, some flair, and, of course, all of my lovelies here and some stickers. Now, um, I sort of want... I like this wood button. Do I have a flair that I might... I think this is just a little too busy. Oh, maybe just, how about the red? We could just do this, maybe. That could be nice to get, okay, that, I think we'll maybe put this one there for now. All right, let's see. Uh, joyful could go there. Or oh, would I want Mary? Again, that there's not enough contrast, so we'll keep that. So I think maybe joyful. I I brought these out because I thought, you know, the whole clip thing that might be fun. So let's see. Oh, I kind of like that. I do kind of like that. Then we could maybe just stick the joyful there. That would sort of decorate it a bit, and, and I could just, you know, put a couple of words here, like, you know, Christmas reading or something like that. I, I kind of like that, my friends. I kind of do like that. And then would I put... Yeah, see, then I'm not sure I would get a flare on there, but I definitely... I like that. All right, let's 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 get that down before we, you know, keep humming and hawing. The whole idea is that this could be fairly fast. Ah, maybe this way. There we go. How about that? And that might stick up a little bit. I'm getting towards the end here of my roll. I'm going to have to replace it soon, so it's being a little uncooperative there you go I kind of like that then let's put the joyful in there I do like that I'll bring it down here would I do that bring it in too too much there we go joyful okay so we have that oh these aren't these little guys so cute we'll see them maybe on the next day i'm going to put them over there so there we go all right so okay now do i want a flare or is that maybe just a little too much it's cute, but is it maybe a little too much? It's a little too much, I think. It's a little too big. I should maybe go look at my small epoxy ones, or let's see whether the wood button might do um, the trick. Or, you know what? This this came on the Christmas card in my little, uh, our Christmas package that we got from Adam, I kind of like that. Isn't that cute there? I think that is kind of cute. Or would I put that here? Oh, there you go. Maybe 
Let's see, could we put that there? I think we could, I like that. All right, I think we found what we are going to put there. And put it up a little bit here. There we go, and that gives a little bit of texture because I do think this might be too much. Yeah, I think that might be too much. I think, you know, I think that might be it. And then the only thing that I might do is come in and use a couple of these, perhaps. Would I maybe want just one of those little bows here? Would that be cute? I don't know, huh? Do I want... that there not really maybe should we put oh wait a minute here look at that oh what fun how about oh what fun joyful season let me see we could put that can I bring that over there and do that no no I don't like that all right, so you know what? I'm waffling away there. Um, so I think we'll just quit. I just need a little, I need a bit of a bigger dot here. That is all I need. Just, let's see, maybe this little red one. How about if we just do that little red one? Is it big enough? tool so let's just grab that on the scissors here and pop that there maybe just to finish that off there you go I think that finishes off it it gives something there there we go okay my friends so let me just go get my album we'll see where we're or no you know what I'm going to stop this one here I'm going to come right back or the next video is going to be another page and then we will look at at the album so another one in getting ready for uh, Christmas reading books and magazines and cozy mysteries see you back here very very shortly my friends thanks for being here